When it's your turn to do an old-timey narration, there are a few things that all boys and girls should consider. Do you know how to properly... Nase vodni. Vare. Det nerv. Asile de bo. Vodile. Vodile ba. Stikni ne na vozi. Na vos. Hefle. Oh. Yes and drum. Oh. Vodile ba te. Oh. Vodile. Vodile se. Oh, where ba ne. In the morning, I got a call from Cassandra Goth. She invited me to come to her wedding with her fiancé, Don Altario. The Goth family is the richest family in Pleasant View. They live in 165 Sim Lane. The family consists of three members, Mortimer Goth, the father, Cassandra Goth, the first daughter, and Alexander Goth, the youngest son. The mother, Bella Goth, has mysteriously disappeared and never returned. Since her disappearance, Mortimer has been seeing Dina Caliente, a much younger woman. Cassandra Goth is engaged to Don Lotario, the local womanizer. They have been dating for quite a while. Oh, se vous levo. Oh, oh, la vie. Mhm. Ouf, na basa. Vous ne pouvez pas faire. Ouf, na basa. Ça pourrait être le. Ore for Pablo. Ouf, Jola. Have vous donné ce vous vous élevé, se vous là. Et se vous elle. C'est pour him. Céline. Don Lothario works as an intern in one of the hospitals in town. He lives in a massive condo at 150 Main Street, which he does not appear to look after. Don is the only child of Adriana Lothario and Nicola Lothario. The gossip said that Don Lotario is romantically involved with three other women, and Dina Caliente being one of them. Dina Caliente's late husband was Michael Bachelor, who was the uncle of Cassandra from her mother's side. What a complex romantic story if the gossip was true. So, the wedding will be held at the God family's house backyard on Saturday, 11 a.m. next week. She said the concept would be a very simple outdoor wedding as she did not invite many guests to her wedding. I was very happy for her and would definitely come to her wedding. Hmm, I just thought maybe it's the time for me to add a fresh gown to my wardrobe. So let's just go and get it in downtown. I went to Hans Trap Door Court, the classic boutique in town, and I happened to meet Dina Caliente there. Well, the tan skin. She said that she just got back from the vacation in Twiki Island two days ago. Dina said that she was also going to Cassandra's wedding, and we ended up with shopping the gown together.
Alexandra had a surprise bachelorette party from her close friends at her house. Brandy Brooke, Jennifer Burke, and Dina Caliente, who is her potential stepmother to be. Each of them brought Cassandra a gift. Dina gave her the souvenir from Twiggy Island and also the honeymoon ticket to the island. Brandy met her back Alaska, and Jennifer brought her a bottle of Titania Vanyards, the 1914 sparkling white grape juice. Mastoba, ashita volaba kandi, mushtira, to the bashtaba, frisha. In the morning on the wedding day, the God family's housemate, Alan Thomason, received a snap dragon flower from the delivery guy. The card on the flower said that it was sent for Cassandra from Darren Dreamer, another Cassandra's best friend. Both Cassandra and Mortimer love the snapdragon flower. She asked Alan to put the flower in the living room first before putting it on the backyard as she wanted it to be the wedding decoration. Oh. Um. Tot a bing. Ha 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 ha. Eh, voila. Eh, voila. Are floking. Oh, but dee dow. Me conozco en el sitio, ¿ya? Ah. Hablando como ella. 
Vaishnavab. Ah. Oh, it's a little. Pass to me. Mantav, look at it, Eva. Cassandra looked fabulous in her white wedding gown. She called Alien and she asked her about the snapdragon flower. She said that it was in Mortimer's room as he asked her to move it up from the living room. So Cassandra asked her to get it back and bring it down to the backyard. Strand, crawl about! Mincha logo. Crawl? Crossing me. Oh, 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 Ah, look at it, Eva. All of the guests had arrived. I saw Darren Dreamer, Dina Caliente, Brandy Brooke, Jennifer Burke, Alexander Goth, the groom Donald Tario, but I still did not see the bride, Cassandra Goth, and her father, Martimar Goth. The yard was so beautifully decorated with the flowers and also ready to fill the guest's stomach with a delicious food served. Cred flower, naked as nip. Oh, Rooney. Mahon, <laughs> The ceremony was soon to begin. Everyone seemed to be waiting for the bride to come over. Everybody was surprised by the screaming, and it was from the second floor of the house. I believed it was Cassandra's. So I ran into the house directly after Don Lothario, and went to the second floor to see what was happening, and so did everybody else. We found Cassandra in Mortimer's room. She screamed seeing her father on the floor. We were also shocked seeing Mortimer's condition. He had a very bad rash on his face. It seemed like he was poisoned, and it could be the murder attempt. 
I smelled something strange in his room and the smell of a cognac and I think it was a grape aroma from his mouth. <laughs> Don Dark called the ambulance and as he was an intern in hospital so I had a little discussion with him about what could be the cause of Mortimer's being poisoned. From the symptoms we saw, Mortimer had fair skin rashes, the burning sensation around the nose as the rash was worse in that area. He also had a reduction on the pulse bit, and the fatigue caused him fainted. I had a thought that somebody was trying to sabotage the wedding by poisoning Mortimer and I was sure that the suspect was one of the guests. So I asked everybody not to leave the house and to gather in the living room until the police came. I asked Cassandra if he knew what Mortimer ate for breakfast. Alexander said that his father grabbed a cake from the fridge and drank something from the bottle in the kitchen. Cassandra said that it was probably the baked Alaska that Brandy brought for her bachelorette party last night, and the drink was the Titania Vanyard she got from Jennifer. So, the cognac smell was from the baked Alaska he ate, and the grape aroma was from the Titania Vanyard or the sparkling grape juice he drank this morning. And the ambulance had arrived, and took Mortimer to the hospital right away. I went to check the wedding venue at the house backyard. I was checking the food, the drinks served, the flowers, and also the wedding cake. If Mortimer was poisoned or had a bad allergic to something, the cause must be from something he ate, drank, smelled, or even touched. So I hoped that I could figure out something here. You know, I really did not like the smell of the snapdragon flower. I just wonder why people love this flower. But then, I realized something. The strange smell I sensed in Mortimer's room before. Something was off here. So, I went up to his room again to check. Well, I did not see any flower there, but I thought I just solved the case. So guys, do you have any suspect yet?
I told to everyone in the living room, and the suspect was still here, one of them. The suspect used formaldehyde to trigger Mortimer's bad allergic to the chemical, so he ended up being poisoned. Formaldehyde is one of the toxic chemicals used in nail polish ingredient. It answered my question about Cassandra who did not put any nail polish on. Well, she was the bride, fabulous gown, pretty makeup and hairdo, but no nail polish? Come on, I did not think it was something she forgot about if it was not something that her father had a bad allergic to. And it was Darren Dreamer. He was the one behind this threat on the wedding. He put the formaldehyde chemical on that snapdragon flower he sent for Cassandra. Cassandra said that in the morning, the flower was sent to her house, and she asked Alien to put the flower in the living room first. Then, when everything was set, she asked her to bring the flower from the living room to the wedding venue. But in fact, Mortimer asked Alien to put the flower in his bathroom before taking it down to the backyard. Mortimer loved the flower. He smelled it again and again in his room without noticing that somebody has put the formaldehyde on the flower. Darren could not deny, he admitted that he put the formaldehyde on a flower. He did not mean to kill or even put more Timur in danger by poisoning him. His motive was indeed to sabotage the wedding. He did not want the wedding to happen since he actually loved Cassandra. He thought that the very kind and genuine lady like her married a guy like Don Lothario, who was not true with his love to her and involved romantically with several other ladies. He just really did not deserve her. The police has arrived. They were Officer Chandler Platz and also Officer Licky Cornier. We were all interrogated. The police then investigated the crime scene. And they also sent another officer from their unit to investigate Darren's house. And he was Officer Orlando Kantowski. The police also did further investigation to Darren's house and found the bottle of formaldehyde inside his drawer. And Darren was found guilty of the crime, then he was arrested without any fight from his side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hip why, nada? Cool have a Darren lost his wife, Darren Dreamer, a few years ago. He felt so lonely for quite a while until he met Cassandra. Darren and Cassandra were good friends long before she knew Don. She never realized that Darren actually had a feeling for her since he never revealed his true feeling. They hang out a lot. Cassandra talked about herself and also her family a lot to him. That was why he knew about Mortimer's bad allergy to formaldehyde, since Cassandra told him that her father strongly never let her or her mom to use any nail kill products.
Knowing that Cassandra was getting married to Don Lothario, Darren was so depressed, and that triggered him to ruin the wedding by threatening the safety of her father that led to him being charged of attempted murder. Mm. Hey, Chip, man. <sighs> Oh, woof, shoot Hey, Papa. Fred, <laughs> Lava. <laughs> Darren deeply regretted his action. He just met his relationship he had with Cassandra for over years ruined in her special day. The snapdragon flowers are actually a non-toxic plant and will not poison humans or animals. Unless its seed is consumed in a large amount, it may cause an upset stomach, experience vomiting, and worse, painful breathing, fever, hypothermia, and even the heart failure. What got Mortimer poisoned was formaldehyde, the chemical that he has allergic to. Formaldehyde is one of the ingredients used in many male care products. Exposure to formaldehyde gas may cause burning sensation in the eye, nose, and throat, skin rashes, thinness of the chest, and wheezing, fatigue, and also headaches. Typical allergic contact dermatitis reactions may occur to individuals allergic to formaldehyde resin. So guys, that was the wraps of this case. Talk to me or thought about it on the comment box below. I'm really getting excited to be in another case that is more complicated and challenging for me to solve. Because I'm here to solve the unsolved. And thank you very much guys for watching and please give the thumbs up if you enjoyed the case and subscribe to the channel to support me. See you guys soon in the next case. Bye bye!